Hello everyone, Clay Ramage here, back again, and uh, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for those of you who continue to watch and support my channel. Uh, watch these fun little videos that we have of all the fun and little items that we find. And if you hear a little noise in the background, my wife's in the kitchen um, preparing dinner. But anyway, I um, went to the Goodwill bins today and um, into a new thrift store that I actually heard about from Nicole North Garden. So, um, stopped at that, got a couple things, went to the bins, found a few things. And yeah, so I spent $39.50 at the bins. Um, and then at the thrift store, this is kind of fun, it was senior day, so you get 25% off. Plus, on senior day, you can pick a free mug. And I just happened to find a mug I was going to buy anyway. It's only 50 cents. But I got it for free, so that's even better. Anyway, let's just get right into this. So, this was pretty wild, but exciting. I found a Harley Davidson helmet. How is that? This would actually be considered a vintage helmet in some circles because it's from 1999. It was dated May of 1999 um, with the Harley Davidson name printed right on it. There would have been a face guard that would have attached here. Face guard wasn't there. Um, so yeah, so that was an exciting find. Again, it's not a high dollar item, probably 25 to $30. Um, and it's kind of heavy, so I probably paid about five bucks for it. Um, but Harley's very collectible, very sellable. So I'm not worried about that one. Um, so that was at the bins. I got this print at the thrift store. I paid $4, so I actually only paid $3.20 for this with my discount. Um, but I just love this print. You know, my Borgia. Um, and uh, I love old buildings like that, so I'll probably keep that one. Then I also found this. This is a watercolor. This is an actual painting. Um, and looking at it, it's kind of hard to tell from the front, the age of it. But when you turn it around to the back, that's why you always want to look at the back. The paper was already ripped, so I didn't do this. But you can see the board and the backing. So again, they stopped using boards, you know, 1910-ish. So this is, you know, pre-1910, let's say. So the frame and everything is quite old on this, but it's in remarkable shape given the age. Um, the frame is just beautiful. So, um, and that was marked $4. Actually, that was $2. The other print was $2. This was the $4 one. This was the one I paid three twenty four, dollars and that one I paid $1.54. So, it's a good find. Um, another thing I found at the bins, then we're back to the bins. The rest of this is all from the bins. Um, it was in this box. This is the lid to the box. And yes, it's a Christmas Santa. With some sheep. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oops. Almost fell out. Isn't he cute? He is... Hmm. Styrofoam. Um, this is the classic Santa collectibles featuring the artwork of um, Sue Dreamer. Sorry, I got distracted there for a moment. And uh, these are from the late 1998 is what this is dated. Um, these are collectible. Pretty good market for them. So yeah, this way. Um, I picked this up again. This is fairly heavy. So because they raised their prices, I probably paid five dollars for this too. Um, but they, you know, probably thirty dollar value. Pretty good find there. Um, I picked up this as a reference book. One of the things about antiques and collectibles, uh, artwork is mythology plays a large part in a lot of the symbolism, and so I picked this up more as a reference book for the different. You know, monsters, mythical beasts, fight scene or not fight scenes, but different scenes, um, and uh, imagery, as far as just as a good reference. So that's what I picked that up for. Um, you know, things like the Medusa head. Some circles, that's good luck. Um, if I met Medusa, I don't think it'd be good luck. Okay, so my wife has been looking for the Veggie Tail stuffed animals. And we keep looking, keep looking, haven't been able to find them. You can buy them on eBay, but we like the hunt. I found one today. The little pea with the with the French hats. So I got that for her. She was excited to have that one today. So we found one. 
And then for our little nephew, we're always buying stuff for him. He's into this series called Blocks. So we found a couple of those for him. His birthday's coming up. So we'll give them to him. So that was exciting. And okay, this is a dilemma I have with my desk uh, being full of stuff. And I have a old adding machine on there that takes up a lot of room. And I use it all the time because I'm not a I don't like using the computer to add simple numbers. So I found a small calculator to replace my big one because many times the zero now doesn't work when I punch it in and then I get bad results and then I have to start all over and I get frustrated. So the adding machine is going and the new little solar powered calculator is taking up less space on my desk. So that's why I got that. I don't know why I had to explain all that, but you know how it goes. Um, got some more bags, brand new bags. And I take those down to the pink elephant because we use these for when we sell stuff um, and then i found a box of all sorts of little creatures little velvet bunny there's four or five different little velvet bears frog what i'm going to do with these is i'm going to take put these in little baggies and sell them down at the pink elephant in my little display cabinet that'll be fun um like that little lamp I found another it was another little baggie with little ceramic tchotchkes in it um there's this little almost like a powder box a little tiny and a log with an axe next to it and then there were these two items little face picture with the plate and then there's Got them backwards. Teacup with the plate. So again, I picked those up to put down with the pink elephant. Just little items. I found an, a vintage dress pattern from 1972. I'm going to make a big lot of patterns. I'm actually getting a lot of those piling up. So that's going to go with the lot of vintage patterns. Look what I found. Egg beaters. That's right. And look at that wonderful green handle. Um, it's quite dirty. So this was used a lot. Somebody loved it and used it. So I have to clean it up. Um, yeah. Anyway. But that's fun. That was another fun little item. <laughs> Here's, here you go with little novelty stuff again. It's a like fake faux pearl necktie necklace. There's the clasp. Isn't that wild? So I'll put that down to the pink elephant. I was like, oh, gotta have it. We like unusual things at the pink elephant. Speaking of unusual, I saw this wall plate. It was in a this baggie with the screws, and I was like, what in the world is it? And then I realized it's a wall plate switch cover. Um, very artistic. I have no idea um, the age of it. Um, trying to see if I can see if it's a printed. And it's hard to tell what's the front and the back. And I don't think it really matters. But in this case, this is the back because it's got paint residue from where it was attached to the wall. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a fun. Yeah, and then it's got little scratch marks on this side where you'd be flipping it up and on and off. But yeah, I can't see. It's not doesn't look like a printed metallic but anyway so that'll be fun a different speaking of different i've never seen a ceramic koala bear before but i found one here he is and he's got a little tiny ladybug on his branch isn't that cute so this is um koala by eva dahlberg 1983 it says made in malaysia so definitely different i haven't come across a koala bear before so that was fun um, also found two of these large eggs. These are made in Germany eggs. Um, collectible. I know Nicole, Nicole Northgarden has some of these as well. Um, this one has some chickens on it. With the cart. And this one is the same one. Chicken with the carts. So I found two of those, which is fun. Found a snow baby. This one is called a basket of joy. With the little chickies in it. Isn't that cute? Um, again, little things like that I used down at the Pink Elephant. Found a couple vintage Hot Wheels 
Again, these are going to go in my round display cabinet. I found one of these scissor coffee cup holders. Um, this one in olive green. I'm like, I always see them in wood and I probably should pick them up, but I haven't ever seen one in olive green before. So that one I picked up today. Um, so that was a good thing. Also picked up, I'm trying not to do lamps, but I picked up this one. This is a beautiful um, desk lamp. The, the shape of the shade. It's wonderful, almost Art Nouveau style. It's kind of a transitionary piece, I think, between Art Nouveau and Art Deco, because you're starting to get this, you know, the more geometric shapes, but this still has the more organic flowing curves of the Art Nouveau period. Um, and it's still got the vintage original socket in there which still clicks just fine um so yeah it's faded you know the brass is tarnished and aged it's just got a wonderful feel to it but it's just a great size as well for a desk and the cord is in excellent shape it's got the nice velvet on the bottom not velvet felt on the bottom Keep from scratching your desk electronics you now pay 99 cents so i paid 99 cents for that lamp i will do that all day long for a lamp like that be able to get probably 40 to 50 dollars out of that lamp um so now the bigger items as far as what i expect to get out of things the larger dollar items um but first let's say what's my favorite item out of my haul today my favorite item i gotta say it's the lamp that's my favorite item i may end up keeping it i don't know we'll see but anyway um I found this bag and I was like, petrol is the name on it. And I was like, petrol, that's like what they call gasoline over in Europe. Um, and it was really unusual. And I, first I was like, pet roll. So I was thinking maybe it's a pet carrier, but I'm like, there's no breathing holes in it. I don't understand. And the top Velcro's open, you know, it's attached with Velcro and you pull it open. But the sides zip down. I'm like, this thing is just confusing as to what it is. So then while I was still there at the bins and I was waiting for them to change out some bins, I looked up the brand. And this is, happens to be a company that makes bags for video and camera equipment. And this particular bag, because on the back side here, it gives the model number in here, PLMD-2. This is actually a bag very specific to a specific video monitor, specifically made for it. So that gives you a hint that this is not a very common bag. They have a lot of other bags, um, which would probably sell faster, but I think because this one is so specific, it could sell for a little more than the more common ones, because if somebody has that monitor and wants the bag, they're going to need to spend a little money for it, because there's none listed out there right now. So I was like, sweet! So I'm expecting somewhere between $50 and $75. I gotta do a little more research, but I don't know if this was ever used because it looks brand new in every sense of the word. And it's made in Tel Aviv. So these are made in uh, Israel. So that was kind of cool. And then I picked up um, a wooden shelf. <laughs> That's right, I picked up a wooden shelf plate shelf you can see the little groove in there and it's in all but perfect shape and you want to know I picked it up because it's Ethan Allen shelf so this particular shelf goes for 75 to 100 dollars on eBay plus shipping so um I will attempt to not ship it I will put it on um Facebook Marketplace, see if I can't sell it locally first for, you know, I'll probably list it for 75 and see if uh, I can, you know, find somebody locally who'll like it so I don't have to ship it. But it is of a size that I could ship it fairly easily. Um, and I'd probably ship it FedEx because of the size of the box that I would have to pack it in if I did end up listing it. So that was my big dollar find was this shelf, which is pretty heavy. So I probably paid $10 for it. Um, but again, if I can get 50 to 75 out of it. That's a good return on your money all day long. So that's what I got. My wife also went shopping today and she found mm, four, eight, 10, 12 puzzles because today was puzzle day. 
<laughs> so she was specifically went to pick up puzzles and she picked up a whole bunch which will be a nice winter projects for us um in between all the other stuff that we do so that'll be fun and she picked up a few other items um but yeah that's our haul for today i think and i did get just so you know this uh, this coffee mug because at the thrift store there is senior day you get a free coffee mug um but i left it in the car it's just a little um coffee mug with a dog on it and it's got the name of the dog and i can't remember what breed of dog it is that's listed on there and that's why i was going to pick it up because i'm like you know they're dog lovers and they love their breeds and so somebody will want it so i'll have to show you that at another time but anyway thank you guys enjoy take care we'll catch you later bye